Robinson, they call me Jay. This is Michael Jeffrey, they call me Mike Jeff. This is Logan Barnes, and they call me Pounds. This is Vin Smith, and they call me Vinny. And, and this, this is The Last Dab. All the girls assing, clapping, tapping, <laughs> chapping. Yeah, my lips are chapping because the cold weather. But I got Carmex on me, I think. Have we called Jay yet? Yeah, it's uh, He should be in here. Yeah, it's fucking cold out. Very but it's cold. not cold enough to where we can watch people uh, eat shit on the ice yet. Nope. And that's the that's the fun yeah, part about the cold. That's the, the fun cold. part. You see that video where it's like these people jogging and she's like the snow is perfect, low impact. And then she runs and she fucking eats shit, bro. I mean, just falls and fucking... Just I've, I've seen shit. plenty of them. I mean, there's there are people that literally designate their time to go sit in a Walmart parking lot and record people falling. Oh, that's just sick. No, literally, people <laughs> do it. I mean, go on YouTube. What do, what do you see? Most of the time, it's some dude in their parking lot sitting right. there watching people lot. fall down. It's a good spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Con it's content. They're get, out there getting content. True. They're getting ready for that metaverse. Get that uh, XP. Get that uh, brownie point for the the metaverse, the you, virtual reality. You don't have world. enough points. Hey, speaking of virtual reality, Vinny, now that we're started, uh, my buddy Max Twitty got uh, Oculus. Oh, he did. And then I got another person. Oh yeah, he into added it. me on there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. So I got two more people on the train. Well, when you guys die first, I'll, <laughs> I'll be here. He'll pick up our headset after we die. <laughs> I'll be like, what was it like? <laughs> Puts it on. Mm. Why, why, why don't you show this motherfucking camera right here? Oh my god. Why don't I show myself? Show real yourself quick. a little bit. Some so, London uh, pound mint. It's going to pound. It's going to pound that mean. camera. Oh, I don't want to show it. Yeah, you're good. Weird. You can't really see it. I'm trying not to drop it. Maybe take a nug out? There we go. Now you're now you're rocking, kind of. We'll get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see what I was doing on the camera. It might not focus, mm, but hey, it smells good. Some people, you know, what, what's sad hmm. is there probably is some people out there that smoke bud, and they don't know what like real good quality bud looks like. Like Not our sense like, the older cats. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like my dad back in the day, literally never seen some of the type of bud it's that we see. Fault. Yeah, no, it's just like they got a trash bag full of this branchy stem shit, and that was like normal for them. Yeah, like that was that's just a thing. How, that was the quality, though. It, they literally it's because you had like every it. hippie and like every two acres growing field somewhere back in the 60s, 70s up until it started getting fucking. It's, it's down. weird that you said that because I literally uh, wrote down this topic. Did you? I swear to God, we'd be, we be linked up. Th listen, right here, just like this. In our lifetime, like damn near us, 20-some years old and maybe a little bit more, we have seen like just the stereotype of weed and just we've seen the growth of marijuana. And like just like you said, our parents, they've never fucking seen this. No. You know, they no. see this and they're like, what the fuck is that? My parents went into a dispensary for the first time not too long ago. And right. they were trying, they were telling me they were like super nervous at the door, like going into it because they're, they're from a place where it's like literally you'll end up in a fucking box if you get caught with it. <laughs> so I was trying box. to explain to them like literally that's yeah. normal. But, like, don't be – if you go to a good dispensary, they should welcome you. They shouldn't yeah. hound you and make you feel weird about doing it. It should just be like a, hey, if you need help, let me know. Bro, like, I just went to the dispensary, right? And I brought go. a homie with me. Shout out Big Cough Dog. Big Cough. I he, like that. He came with me, bro. We The line was wrapped around the fucking – this was on Black Friday, and I got those deals. The line was wrapped around the fucking building, and it was cold. And I was like, okay, shit. We're going to have to wait for a second. Coffee told me he waited when it first became legal in Illinois. Guess how long he waited. I want to hear. Like the first few Four days. Four hours. Okay. Four, the first like day or something? It got legalized the first. He went the third. And Fuck, he, dude, I don't and know. he went there. Guess how long he did. He said four hours. Guess how long he went I'm going to guess something crazy like seven or eight. Eight Yeah. Hours. I was going to say, have you seen some of the pictures? Eight 
That's insane. Have you seen pictures? No, like how long when, the line is? When Colorado was huge. If you look at oh, some of the pictures when Colorado... were camping. Yeah. Motherfuckers were camping with tents out in front of stores because yeah. of that shit. But I also believe that because I've seen videos for uh, Popeye's drive through mm. that people wait seven hours in line Bro, for. Done it. No, right. no, like, no, literally, no. like, I've seen that. Motherfuckers get... Get caught in the line. Like, if you're, if you're, if like, you're waiting know. seven, three plus hours in a drive through for some food, you're waiting way more if hours for some good an bread. Hour, like, yeah, if you're waiting an hour for some, in the Panda Express by my crib, motherfuckers are wrapped all the way around to a oh, different yeah. business. Oh, yeah. Why Chick fil A's, McDonald's, way? fucking, I mean, Chick fil A gets the line moving pretty quick, actually. They, though, they fucking. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back want? to uh, the. Dis- I served my time with the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted more and more. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was doing Halo. <laughs> you gotta first. make a song like that. No, I, that's what I was. That's <laughs> like, why does it sound holy and demonic? It's exactly. That's Travis. You know Scott the song. you know the Halo uh, theme song, Jay. It did sound. It's like literally that. almost exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> they come out with a new one just recently, or coming yeah, out with well, Infinite. They they came out with the beta Halo Infinite beta. So it's just oh, like okay. the it's a beta. They're letting us. Is a beta. They're letting us play the game. I mean, every game does this usually. Uh, right. They're doing like hard testing. They're they're testing their servers. They're trying to let people play and fix the problems before the big the game. Bugs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. There's always bugs. So. Mm-hmm. But what I that, uh, they, Oh, go ahead, bro. Oh, well, I was gonna let you. I was filling in. Uh, letting you know we were talking about. Um, kind of just dispensaries and like just the idea of how like uh, weed has changed over the years and. Yep. Just like our we've thoughts and it. we, yeah, what we've seen um, with weed over the years. But uh, I was going to talk about how, like, I've been to a dispensary now where I didn't even have to get out of the car and yes. go in. A dude they walked up, up to, to my you. car like they a got the little tray, like a legit drug deal <laughs> yes. on our street here in Indy. Like, I dude knocked on my window, like, you you looking for some bud? And yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's Please. why I'm here. And literally just boop, bop, beep on his iPad. It's so easy, yeah. Brought me. You give them their money. You give them the money. And there was card. a there was a line not like too long, but there was a line like fifteen people out the door at this shop I was at, and that's why I was like, "Fuck it, man! If he's just gonna do it right here for me, curbside pickup, I never have to move or nothing." Like it was wild. You get a PS Five with it too, yeah. Jared. You know the most. I yeah. feel like about the change in society and just. You you were here in Lebanon, and then once you moved, you were like, we've kind of seen it from a third perspective, <laughs> but you've been in this bitch full fledged. You've seen it all. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Just especially like whenever I first came out here uh, in, to Washington in what 2018, uh, 19. Yeah, 2018, I think. Yeah. And then I saw that puff coat for the first time. I was like, oh my gosh! Like straight up, like Tesla for dabs. Oh, shit. that's that's how it is. Like Tesla for dabs. It really is. Of course, like now it's. I mean, that's they've even excelled so much from that. You know what I mean? Like that dope ass gravity bong uh, yeah. Wiz oh, always yeah. has looks yeah. like a pill or whatever. Yeah, those, just, thing, flips those it. things are like six, seven hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah, I was watching a video the other day on how to Fucking how to wow. use one. It was it was pretty crazy. It's like where did they it's, come with that? It's price like point? one of the smoothest <laughs> hits though, is what I've heard. Like oh, it's fucker, so they better smooth. do a couple more things for me. That's about how much it is for one of those volcanoes with yeah, the bags. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the, the prices bags. of those have never went down. Have you noticed that? Was I that remember, how much yours was? You had one. I, I know, your bro- didn't your brother have one? I don't know where that came from, how we got it. That was it, the first and time I ever went. greened out. No, I had one. Marijuana was from your fucking <laughs> yeah. volcano. You had one, Jared? Yeah, me and my buddy from work went in on one. We'd always have it at his house. We get uh, we go to his house on lunch break. We called it the temple because he's the got temple. like some cool like Buddhist looking shit in there yeah. and like some ancient China shit. But uh, at lunchtime, we'd have our own little mouthpiece. You know how you like got to push in the yep. mouthpiece and yep. then inhale, and the bag sucks in. Yeah, yeah. like a hookah. Uh, yeah, kind of. I guess. You know yeah. What I mean? But like we could take off the mouthpiece, and we'd have like three or four different mouthpieces. We yeah. have our own, and yeah. like we toss the bag, <laughs> we toss <laughs> That's the bag funny. to each other. It always reminded me of like popcorn. <laughs> I was always thinking about popcorn when I had the bag, you know. What I don't mean? know, but it's like popcorn. you get the burnt, like you get the the yeah. second Jimmy, and then it's like, got a little burnt. I don't taste think I ever have. Yeah. You got the volcano. I hate your brothers back in the day. 
with the, I don't so know you where have, that came from, yeah. bro. So you have hit one of the bags. Mm, one time, okay. yeah. yeah. And that bitch used to smack. See, what I want to bring up about it was like, yeah, it used to smack you because that was the first time in my life um, – I hadn't been smoking weed that long, but but it's been it would have been like two years into my like mm-hmm. weed experience, whatever. Yeah. Um, but dude, I was greened out to the point where I was literally laying on the floor in the back of someone's car, like just like freaking Bounded. out. Yeah, yeah, I was. I mean, you. I don't know if you remember. Who were you with? You. What? I was with <laughs> you, dude. It was. I was in like Brock or Max's car that in the makes back. Sense. I know it wasn't. That's why I, I mean. I was fine. Too, bro. I was don't worry fine. About it. Yeah, I was <laughs> fine. Good. But uh, you know why? Because that shit is vaping marijuana. Yeah, it's not. That's what I was it. trying to bring up. Yeah. Is like if I were to give that to my dad right now, bro. Oh my god, Lit. I couldn't imagine what would happen to him because like. Dude, even just edibles or like the the wax nowadays is like. Amazing. My dad looks at that and he's like, "What the fuck are you smoking?" Right, and it's like right. it's a it's a dab, dad. Like <laughs> it's, it's a concentrated. Dad. I got dab, dad. Yeah, dab, dad. <laughs> dab, dad. <laughs> but he doesn't understand that. And it's just like it was crazy for them to see how we changed for my parents back in the day. Yeah, and then now they're looking at it like being legalized in a few states. It's wild. And of course, Indiana being surrounded by fucking. Surrounded by, we're just sitting here like, eh. we we'll, brought we'll pass. We brought that up too about how like half of Illinois' weed sales are from people in Indiana. Indiana. Oh, yeah. What did I just say? I don't know. What did you say? I said Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> this is last week. We can't talk. I can't talk ever. On That's Indiana. what it was first called, Indiana. Yeah. And then they were like, let's just call it. Yeah. Indiana. It's way too <laughs> hard. You have to do a dance when you say yeah. the other one. Indiana. Uh, <laughs> we're pushing the line. Okay. Yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Where's Jay go? We need to save from the conversation. Oh. I think he's you're good, bro. Keep keep going. I'm just transitioning real fast. You're fine, okay. brother. So what about like pins too? What the oh, fuck? Yeah. Pins took over. I kind of remember when That's they first. Fucking sure they did. I kind of remember when they first were coming out. And I was like, this shit ain't even cool. You know what I mean? I was like, fuck these. It's just hard to trust them. It's the biggest it thing. Was super hard, but now it's like because you get easier. a you get a real good pin like from a dispensary or I something. Got one with me right they're, now. They're beautiful. They hit nice. Right here. But you get some that aren't real, and you can notice, you like, can they're die. like, yeah. <laughs> this is a good one, bro. It's like, good. It's like, um, I can't remember the flavor. It's weed flavor. Yeah, it's that marijuana flavor. Pins, what else has changed in the marijuana game? Um, pieces, obviously. Pieces oh, yeah, have still pieces kept up. Have... Papers are always the same. Like, papers are the same. It's about the only thing that stayed the same. I think, um... I think one of our biggest changes on it um, is, like, the fact that we, like, it's so weird to me that we have states legalized, but other states aren't. Like, that it's not just, like, a decision. Like, back in the day, they got rid of alcohol. Like, right. they prohibitioned that shit or whatever. That was federal. Yeah, that was, a, like, just everybody decided it. But they didn't do that shit. I mean, they did do that back in the day with weed. That's why it is illegal. Right. But... Now, we can't just make no, like just I want the whole country to vote. Is that, it legal that, that or is it not yeah. legal? Right. It's a federal law, and what? I want that shit to happen too. That way, we can be like, "Fuck you!" It's federally legal. But what I was saying is, I think we're the biggest thing is that we're falling more into that category. I think all of the states are opening up and yeah. saying, "Listen, let's stop playing games around it. If yeah. we're gonna legalize it, legalize it. If we're not, not. That's that's kind of where it's at. And I think we need to fall on the side of Everybody does it, not mm-hmm. just. Well, these states can, and these these states aren't smart enough. <laughs> like what? Right. I don't know. Well, I, what I didn't know was that um, Washington was rec- recreationally legal before Cali was recreationally. They yeah. were medicinal. For and Washington Cali was, is our fucking first. like. That's our like the. I think he's talking about no. the state. Oh yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right. He's yeah. about the state. But the fact that it is legal there too. in Washington D.C. Yep. But it's federally it yeah. illegal. Right. It's kind of like a fuck you, honestly. <laughs> you can walk past yeah. the White House smoking a joint. <laughs> but, but I go to jail? Yeah. I, don't know. I love that math. You guys read, did you guys read this? Yeah, this is literally about to be voted on, bro. What's the... What's Feds the must get out of the GOP. way. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> Go get ludicrous on moon. I don't think we really get talked about the, the medical side of how... Marijuana is I mean, literally 
helping with so many like uh, epileptic yeah. seizures yeah. and like all, all these stuff. weird things, and it's like we still look at it as it's it's a bad thing. It's, but think about think yeah. So think about that. Like if you think about like uh, pharmaceuticals and the fact that weed with less side effects can help you more than these si- these pharmaceuticals that give you you know all these side effects. Why not use the weed? You know what I mean? I feel like it's all that big system so they can continue to sell, continue to have the customers and and just have people hooked on these other addictive pain medicines or pain drugs or all these other drugs where you could get the fix from marijuana. And not only that, but hemp. Why don't we start making things out of hemp? There's so many benefits that we could use. It's not like it's 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 not. (laughs) <laughs> someone um, cursed it bro um, someone cursed the marijuana there's the story when of, it shouldn't have been cursed yeah, you there, know what i mean right, there's a guy right. that just uh it was all about how hemp was going to take over and become a new like m- new Textile, monopoly yeah. yeah so that's Commodity. why they, they didn't do it right well they, yeah they don't want to change the game like jared said you know the paper industry and all these like you know ropes and stuff dude hemp can make strong ass rope but for some reason, yeah. we just don't do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because hemp then in turns is marijuana. And, oh, that's illegal. So we're not going to – like what? It sounds like a baby's ma- making moves. It is. You can, ha- you can make it legal, just you. But you, you can't. <laughs> and if you drive over there, <laughs> you're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> like we're playing some bullshit game by a f- yeah. fucking five-year-old. I've played it. It's Do you so ever feel like uh, people just like get off on having power over somebody else? I hate oh, that yeah. shit. That's oh, the yeah. worst oh, thing yeah. I hate. And it. that's what like along with this like COVID shit, people play that part too. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> oh, you're not you're not vaccinated. You need yeah. to get vaccinated, bro. Right. Like, you know what I mean? I'm they like really you. like press their shit on you. Like, but they'll use whatever little bit of gain that they can, you know, to overuse their power. Like yeah. Karen's. Karen, for sure. She is the fucking textbook definition of <laughs> using too much power. You need to turn that music down. <laughs> call the cops. I didn't know you were fucking God, bro. Yeah, like, right? <laughs> Who was that? I, th- I thought I heard uh, or someone like, or maybe I saw it online a couple years ago or something, but uh, some kids were out playing basketball. Yes. Or where did I hear this? I don't know, but and someone yeah. called the cops on the kids playing basketball because the dribbling was yeah. was too too much, I guess. <laughs> then the cop pulls up and then starts playing basketball right, with him yeah. or some shit. It's like, dude, but you kids have outside nerve? having having fun, you know, using their. I mean, basketball is not a big deal. You know what I no, mean? No, it's like, a fucking sport. <laughs> right, they're out there getting active. That damn dribbling's <laughs> driving me crazy. <laughs> damn dribbling. <laughs> Um, I like a nice quiet uh, game like golf. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they hate golf too. It's fucking, all in the hips. Yeah, put some fucking clothes on and play some golf. <laughs> Yo, back to how much uh, I, I want to say. Like, I wonder where the start of like the weed really started like picking up. Revolution. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Maybe would it Hippies? be like so? So you got your papers. You, I mean, item nine. Bombs, I guess pretty classic. <laughs> yeah, but, a pipe. A pipe. Um, but maybe it was like the the pipe mixed in with the gas mask. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, let's just up this shit. Yeah. Completely. Someone had to have made that when think about it, they were giving out all those gas masks when like in World War One. Have you guys oh, seen the video of them uh, in Vietnam smoking out of the, the shotgun. A shotgun out of a shotgun? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> what the fuck? Out of a fucking. That's where the term comes that's from. The shotgun. Pull it up. Wild. It's Look so how fucking innovative. Dope. Stoners are man. They're like, we don't oh want to fucking kill. We just want to get high. There are oh, some you, you the damn apple stoner. You know, some of us have smoked stone out of apples out there, before. man. Yeah, I've smoked out of an apple. Out of an asshole. Apple. Oh, <laughs> Barnes, we started smoking about the same the same time. I think you started a little bit before me. Definitely. We, we it was right then there though it was like boom and then maybe like a week or two two weeks yeah <laughs> gotta try this so what we're gonna do right here I'm gonna make sure there's no bullets 
I know you don't want to smoke with a fucking twelve gauge in there. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna no, bro, this put it in there. Put it in there. It'd be dope. Yeah. <laughs> we call this one the bug shot. <laughs> yeah. oh, shit. All right, I got my pipe. Yeah. These fools are gonna shoot themselves. All right. they do old class. The old the old pipe. All right, I swear to God, it's not gonna shoot you, Billy. <laughs> He blows on the pipe and the smoke goes through to oh, fucking Jimmy, shit. Joe, and Jack. <laughs> wow. Look at that, bro. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Some dude hits it too light like a pussy and he just gets shot. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. you, Jimmy. You're a waste of time. <laughs> Damn, he's the taking it from more fucking chew. He's like, what? I mean, we're just getting high. <laughs> Look at that mustache. We're already stuck in the fucking <laughs> sticks out here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, hey, not gonna, I'm not letting him hit my so ball. So this, this brings me up a good story. I, I won't say any names, but um, I've met someone in my life, an uh, older person. I want to say they're probably reaching 70 now. Okay. But their parents, um, his parents, had happened to... I mean, back in the day, it's just this was how people lived. I mean, this was just how it went. But his parents had left him and his brother, his older brother, a house, paid off house. They didn't have to pay for it. Right. Their parents went across the country, like traveling or something, doing whatever. I really don't know. But he was only like 15, 16 years old. And his brother was like 20 something. And he ended up going to the military, going to Vietnam. Oh. And his brother literally would send him packages in duffel bags home full of marijuana. <laughs> Swear to God. Yeah. And I know this guy, he's like one of the most genuine guys. He wouldn't lie about it. But no. that was just how it was. They didn't have to check. He would get <laughs> duffel right. bags full of just yeah. this stick, we, like this trash weed. Straight from Vietnam. <laughs> Straight from Vietnam. In the in the fucking, and he was 16 years old, living in a house by himself, not going to school, just yeah. being a fucking hippie, man. <laughs> yeah, wow. And, and that's how it was back in the day. Like so he was sixteen in a house, already paid off by himself, getting weed shipped to him across the Vietnam. fucking world. And we can't even go outside our house without fucking the next Karen across the street calling the cops on us or something. And it was arguably worse back then, you know, in the eyes of the law. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, because they had the war on drugs and all right. that shit. Like, dude, all that shit was just that shit was set up, man. So and whatever, like, yeah. especially because the government is providing uh like opioids and um other shit like to the slums of america you know and what i mean dropping it this. off to oh, helicopters yeah. think about this if you got the cia giving the drug dealer undercover giving them the fucking the coke and the in the shit and the in the crack which is what happened and then they no sell coke, it Pepsi. to their they sell it to their <laughs> fucking community it's the government Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> it was it was all right. It's not a lot. It was literally like four drops right here. It's the fucking government who's putting the drugs into the motherfucking uh, streets. You know. Now what we're I mean? back to playing this game. Now we're back That's to playing the game. You seen the show right. Snowfall me, ever? Uh, no, I, I've Snowfall, heard of that, yeah. but I've never yeah. definitely heard of it's it. It's about FX. that. Yeah, it's about that. Because mm. it's true. It literally happened. And so it happened. let me ask you this: We were kind of talking about the influence. Uh, you know, what did we think? Like, where did it change? What was a yeah, big movement yeah, yeah. or whatever? Um, let me ask your guys' opinion. Do you think the influence over the however many years? I mean, thirty, forty, however far you want to go back. But like Snoop Dogg, Bob Marley. Willie Nelson, just these, these icons, all these iconic weed smokers. Did that make it worse or better for the the community of weed? That's a good question. Because a lot of people will look at these insanely rich rock stars or athletes or whatever that are like this and be like, you know, there's so much shit to talk down about it or whatever. But yeah. then for people like us, I think we're all on the same page that Snoop Dogg like has it. changed the game for weed. Yeah, I mean, right, I right, mean. Right. Yeah. I, yeah, no, I, I think honestly, like especially with those names that you just named off or you just listed off right there, it was completely a positive thing because yeah. look at those people today. You know what I mean? Like they're doing great. Bob Marley, I mean, yeah. he, he's dead now, right, but hey. I mean, like Willie Nelson, still going. Snoop Dogg, still going. And uh, as far as like rock stars back in the 80s doing coke and doing yeah. all hard drugs and shit those <laughs> if they made it alive then they're telling you not to do that shit today. yeah no and one's that's... saying don't smoke weed today you know right. what i mean 
it, 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 Machine I, Gun I Kelly like said, I am I, weed. I feel like they kind of did <laughs> Tim, pave away uh, for it. Megan Fox. Is that what he said? What? <laughs> Vinny keep was, going. Yeah, keep going. Uh, I didn't really have much. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I was going to... Did I ever... Uh, I think I sent this to you guys before, but I was sitting here stoned in my garage one day. Um, and dare, like the police thing, drug mm-hmm. dr- against drugs or whatever. Um, they always told you, like, you, you know, cotton mouth. Like, this was back in the day. This was <laughs> they real. They always told you the, cotton mouth was what, Satan's dick. No, mouth. Yeah, it, <laughs> they would say uh, that smoking weed would, like, just, this was a scare tactic. Like, a, kid, like, like teeth out. A, a cop would tell this to, like, an eight year old growing up to get him to, to stay away from it, but he'd be like, smoking weed. You'll get cotton mouth, and what cotton mouth is is your 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 lips begin to glue each other shut, like they're they're gluing gluing each other shut, right? That don't even make sense. And then sense. I'm sitting there thinking in my back of my head, stone smoking in the garage one day. I was like, maybe maybe that is true, because I'm sitting there and my fucking lips are like stuck together smoking this <laughs> shit. Oh, it's not a lie, but it did sound scarier. Yeah, yeah like, it's like racking like. <laughs> Look at but here's a, here's my thing is okay what is what exactly is the agenda when okay they did have um like trying to make alcohol illegal or they were it was illegal and then they had to go through the prohibition and right, all that right and then and then it became legal but now they're saying not to do or they were saying not to do weed and stuff but how could you sit there and dare or in that class and tell me not to smoke weed when people are out here smoking. Ci- I see cigarette commercials all no, over. Right. Yeah. And it's and, literally and, more and than alcohol weed. commercials all over. And I, and everybody drinks alcohol. Like it's like not it's fucking uh, a family destroyer. Literally. You know yeah. You I mean? got the dude who's preaching about the motherfucking dare. He's in the class. Guarantee he's got the old flask in the motherfucking pocket. He's taking a couple shots because he can't handle these fucking kids. Ask some questions like, "My daddy does meth. <laughs> what, what, what is that?" Like, hold on, hold on, Billy. Oh, give me one second. Sometimes it'll be like that, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> what you just don't do weed? Yeah, you look familiar. <laughs> just, it, oh, I know your dad. Matter of <laughs> fact, tell him to hit me up. Yeah. I'm gonna need you. <laughs> I think, I think largely uh, a part of the the prohibition back in the day, trying to get it. Um, like it legalized again. It, it, it what surprises me is we're, it's the same fight that they were doing is what we are having right now. Yeah. And what what surprises me is part of the reason why alcohol did get re-legalized again was because this the government just simply couldn't stop people from making it. Like there was so right now. so many moonshiners back in the day and all this shit. People making alcohol <laughs> in their backyard. Government couldn't stop them. So why are they gonna make it? illegal right. that was part of the problem and that's kind of like the same fight today it's like Everyone, you're all, the, uh, indiana fine. the perfect fucking example surrounded by states legalized by it but here we are still one of the highest fucking rated states when it comes to marijuana charges right Dude, it's like you just brought to you just brought to my mind that when it, the other week i went uh to like, wenatchee washington or some shit Wenatchee. but they they have a whole this is all like indian land indian territory and all that like so the west coast is like <clears throat> really different yeah uh, i went i went to the gas station and one they have like a casino right next to the gas station it's like <laughs> that's okay. not that's not hard to believe. <laughs> but i i go to the bathroom at the gas station and dude they have a used needle Oof. like yeah just, like uh, where you just throw them away. At, oh, you know dispense, what I mean? Like, yeah, just like a trash yeah, can for needles specifically. Like, yeah, like very specifically for used needles. Like they know people are using. Yeah. The West Coast knows that there's people out here, a lot of homeless people <laughs> that, that use and abuse drugs, but they'd rather them <clears throat> throw it away in a spot, yeah. you know, that's not just like on the side of the road <laughs> where some kid could be just running down the street, you know and, what I mean? And step on and, and spread, you know, HIV or some crazy, or, or anybody for that matter, yeah. you know what I mean? But, um, it's kind of like, we kind of need to take that approach where, you know, people have addictions, people have problems, you yeah. know what I mean? Weed isn't a problem, you mm-hmm. know? Um, Unfortunately, with those like hard drugs, like those people are going to find it. I'm I'm so surprised at how ambitious these these people Bro. with addictions could actually be. Dude, like, these junkies are different. Hu- like that's a different. 
right? Like uh, a species. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, dude. Uh, I saw one video and like I think I sent it to you guys and like the, it was like a crackhead or something was like he tried jumping over the fence and got caught up just on the on the top of the fence like <laughs> into the fence and shit and the dude's like oh man let me help you man let me help you he's like ah help, help. <laughs> and then the dude like flips him over the fence and and then before like. The other guy even asked if he's okay. That crackhead, <laughs> pew, 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 like gone, just ran off. It's like, how long were you stuck up there on that bench, dude? Like, yeah. my goodness. Have you you're s- fine. You're running. I have you seen the video of the the <laughs> crackhead doing the flip off the house? He like, does, <laughs> like <a> sh- <laughs> man, <laughs> he lands on his head man. and gets up and walks off. I don't think off. I've seen that one. It's Bro, so fucking. Tell funny me how that, that shit ain't like a superpower though. No, like, that's what I'm saying, drug, it, dude. It, it's a superpower. But it's also the mind games of him too, dude. Like, I swear to God, some crackheads out there can sell you a lost dog. Like, <laughs> dude, I'm not yours. kidding. Like, don't fucking. <laughs> I'm like, I feel good about this. They'll so sell much. you a fucking empty oh, box of cereal. <laughs> Assassin, assassin's crack. Bro, how did he get up there though. That's like, that's straight. How Vinny, did he get up there? I just like how Vinny searched that crackhead is, jumping. Goodness. Yeah, bro. How did he get up the side of that house? Anybody on crack grows those it's, like? It's literally <laughs> the same spider. Oh shit! Whoa, no, this is so. High. Say, say it again, Jared. <laughs> say, say it again, assassin's crackhead. Assassin's crackhead. <laughs> Oh my god, this is that not... That is so high, bro. That's like, that's not, like two and a half stories. That look at the dish. Say, I don't know. Look at the dish. <laughs> like, Why is he doing this? <laughs> I'll do it for, for crack. I'm getting it. Look, he's crazy. He's no. drained to the crack gods <laughs> right now. <laughs> I smoke rocks, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. He took another one. <laughs> one more look. <laughs> Just for good I'm measures. trying because I know. <laughs> <laughs> Vince I mean, knows more than us. It's good. You gotta measure the distance. Oh, it took so <laughs> much time. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, hey, oh, oh my Superman. god. I told you. <laughs> Let me rub it off. I'm good. I'm dead. He's, he's I'm next, down. going back to the street asking for crack. Oh, back down. He's thanking himself. That's honestly, yeah, that's not pain right there. That's <laughs> that was honestly, like that's talent. That was, I'm impressed. That's that honor. One. That's, that's oh, crazy. Oh, no. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, Boy, or Stephen Wonderboy Thompson? We can't go too far. No. <laughs> yeah, this is too, this is like, they need help. No. <laughs> you can't go too far. <laughs> Damn, bro. For real. Mm. I got a good one real quick. Um. My, I got a buddy. Or you guys already know who it is. Um, he lives in Colorado. I'll just say that. I won't even say his name, but if you guys listen, you fucking know his name. Uh, <laughs> he just said it. I don't give a shit, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this because... <laughs> Motherfucker playing truth or dare. I'm just saying, by the off chance that his his boss listens to this or something, I don't want to get him in trouble. You, so I it's like, you. fuck it. He will be but, with her name... Rene, <laughs> remain a name. He works at a smoke shop. It's like selling glass, selling pipes and shit, right? And yes. uh, that uh, draws quite a bit of attention from uh, drug users. Would we all agree? Of yeah. all sorts. Unfortunate. That's, of all sorts. Man, I, There's, that's a huge point. I mean, dude, they're selling meth pipes in there. I know. That's, every one of them like, do. That's what it is. It's a, I, I it's, don't like it. It's making me feel yeah, uneasy. Yeah. And I'm like, so, come on. Brock... Oh, I just said his name. There you go. Uh, <laughs> 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 hey, he was under fucking. He was getting fucking interrogated. All right. Well, Brock, listen, I love you, dude. But I just think it's funny. He he's called the the cops and uh, shit on some tweakers, like pissing or something in the fucking parking lot or right. whatever. Like, yeah, no but good. calling the cops on him because that's just. It's not good. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not good. Why the fuck would you want that near your place? And yeah, it's a place his business. boss literally told him it was like. Don't call like, the cops. Yeah, don't the call the cops anymore. Like, dude, this place just has tweakers. Like, yeah. it's a smoke shop yeah. in the middle of Colorado. We get these customers. Yeah. That's what it's about. And he's well, Brock's like, well, mainly just saying he doesn't feel safe sometimes yeah. because some of them are fucking whacked out. Yeah. And I get that. But it's just funny to see, like, there's literally even rules nowadays. Like, like you 
people tell their employees at Walmart in Lowe's and shit. You can't if, chase. If if someone's walking out the door with a chainsaw at Lowe's, you cannot chase them down. You, it is illegal. You can't do it. Especially if they turn it on you. you know? And here's the, what's, <laughs> no, hold on. here's the most fucked up thing about it to me. Where's the oil? Is like <laughs> they say they say if it's like some places I've heard if it's over a thousand dollars you can chase them out. Like if it's a TV or something crazy, yeah, anything small, you can chase like, it. And it's like, what's the difference between a thousand dollars and the fucking insurance? Like, what the fuck is that? Doesn't make any sense yeah, to me. Right. Dollar amount, it how much it's worth. Insurance. But yeah, like, I don't know. I thought it was funny to me that you literally, like, get told Bro, not to I not call this, the cops listen, on people. I seen this video of this dude walking to, like, a CVS or something, and walk right into the fucking pharmacist. I'm talking right through. Went to the, like, counter, grabbed all the codeine and shit, all the cough medicine, just walked the fuck out. Oh my and god. And they were all like, what, what do we, what do we do? And he's just like, he, they're, the next thing they did was you can get on your local f- Facebook for that place. And he was, there's going to be search. Have you seen this man? Right, Call right, this right, number. Right, right. Right. He pulled up that night. That's funny. Yeah, that's funny. I don't know if I've brought this Triple up before, <laughs> but, uh, whenever I was in San Francisco, mm-hmm. uh, San Leandro area, I was on the BART, uh, transit and bro, I had witnessed with my own eyes. So I like go sit down and I see this dude conked out, just passed out and the ride's all moving and shit. And he's moving and he eventually like wakes up and like, <laughs> dude, Jared's doing so good. I know. <laughs> this dude, bro, like I see him pull out his kit and I was like, Oh fuck, oh, please shit. no. And I see him like pull out the needle and oh, shit, no. flick the needle right there like i didn't see him like inject it but i'm pretty sure it was in his foot oh. and then i was like i was like oh gosh and i was like sitting like kind of close to him and no. i was like, Have you guys I was, like what do i do like what do i up? like Not in person. i was like just chill just don't say nothing and then um then he started flicking his lighter and shit. I saw he had his little like foil yeah. and like burning his foil. I was like, okay, I'm not smelling this shit. So I had to get up and fucking like Damn. move down to the other side of it. But um, later on, some <clears> other <throat> people got onto that same into the same like cab mm-hmm. and um, like they were they saw him conked out. He's back conked out again. Yeah. And and um, they're all like pointing at him, and I knew what they were talking about. Like yeah. they were about to go like go see what's up with him and all that. <clears> and, <throat> Uh, the person that I was with, they're like, you saw what he had? And I was like, yeah. And then, like, they told they told those people, it's like, yeah, he saw him. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Wow. It was like, uh, I, I, they're like, so, oh, what did he have? <clears throat> what was he taking? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know what you guys would do or not, but I was like, I, I just didn't want to snitch. I was like, this dude's probably got all kinds of shit, all yeah. kinds of troubles. I don't want to make his day any worse. Like, just, if he's back there sleeping yeah. now, like, let that be. But I'd be I'd be as far as away, trying to get as far as away as the situation. It was, right. it was right. a conflicting moment for myself because right. I was like, there are other people. He's burning something, you know what I mean? And oh, my like God. Up. It doesn't, but it's he's a, not harming anybody, you know what I mean? So it's like, day, yeah. But it's a wild anyways, move. they go and start, like, start, like, trying to wake him up. <laughs> like oh. nudging him, like nudging his foot, like damn near kicking him, <clears throat> almost. And I was like, but it was like kind of one of those Karens, a little bit. Yeah. Like, but she, I guess, I guess she worked for the Bart train, and he's like, he's like, uh, <laughs> like you mind your fucking business. <laughs> 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 yeah. I was like, that's why I wasn't about to like go yeah, mess with him or nothing, you know. Mind your own business, shit. Good. I don't know, but what would you, what do you guys think you would do? Would you guys spill the beans on like what he was doing or like? I don't, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm chilling on that and you ask me if I've seen someone shoot up, uh, I've never seen someone shoot up just so blatantly in public like that. Yeah. So I'm sitting, say I'm sitting on <clears> the <throat> fucking bus in Indy. And I don't know why I'm taking the bus, but uh, yeah. I'm on the goddamn bus. I'm doing my thing. And I see dude two fucking seats behind me shooting up. You know what I mean? And then I obviously see it, smell it, look at it like Jared and, and, I, I don't think I would. You said you smelt it. You went up and took a whiff <laughs> of it. Bro, he was burning that no, shit. So I get, like, right, no, I get like it. I don't think I would do anything. I, I don't, I don't think I've never seen to. it in uh, daylight, but... Uh, and that thing was like broad daylight, bro. Yeah. Broad daylight. I've seen a dude like covering up under a hoodie, hitting his pipe and stuff. I've, I've seen outside. pipe hitting outside yeah, multiple yeah, times. Yeah, That's more common. Yeah, more, more common. common. But when it comes to 
seeing someone like clothes. shooting up. Yeah, is it? Clothes that's a wild experience. What would you do? Would you like? And what? What do you go at them with? Like, hey, motherfucker, stop doing drugs. Like, I don't know. Yeah, right. I don't like, know what you're supposed to say. The only thing say. I could do was mind my own business. Right. So, what do you think? Mind your own business. I don't know. I, I've I've done some stupid shit to them, anyways. Like for breezing the homeless. You know, I told you guys about that. So I, I, never, de- I definitely know from experience to just stay away from those type of people. Honestly, you, Mike, you know, I don't think anybody's against that. I mean, no, it was a good, Even it was a good call. You know what I mean? It's it's not, not, I'm out here terrible. freshening the the streets. Okay. I mean, it's it like, might be a little disrespectful to them. They might be like, "Listen, if you, you, you come on, no, 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 listen, better, listen, I I no, no, bitch." <laughs> there, I, this is a thought out process. <laughs> You're walking down the street, going to the Colts game, going to the Patriots game. One of the streets with the 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 little bridges and shit that they all hang out at. Okay. They're sitting there begging for money, like they do. They, you know that it always happens. All right. Okay. So you got that situation in your head. Now, which is better, that? With them being smelly and stinky and bullshitty, fucking with their begging, or you walk past and you're like, man, smells pretty nice down here. I'm gonna give them a twenty. They, <laughs> it's a nicer you situation. Say. You're in more comfort. You're not. You're not trying to get as far as away from them. You can actually walk up and hand them money without throwing up. Oh, you know, it's a good <laughs> cause. I've thought about this. All right. You, now, when you Febreze the fuck out of them with seven bottles of fucking Febreze with seven dudes, you, could, oh, you know, oh, they fucking weird. get mad and they chase you down. <laughs> Dirty Mike and the boys are going to get you back. <laughs> we will have sex in your car again. <laughs> they okay. said we found deer vagina in there. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I don't want none of that. Uh, my curiosity. <laughs> Um, yeah, for Breeze Holmes. Yeah, so I guess that's like with drugs, though. Like, that's where the stigma comes, and then they have already got it uh, for weed scheduled uh, class one. Right, like, bro, uh, get the fuck out of here. Schedule one, sorry, schedule one. Hey, I know from a personal experience, though, that things are on a better track because sure. oh, yeah. I have been oh, arrested yeah. for something that was non weed related, but ended up being weed related because I had some <laughs> on me. But I never got charged with it, and it was excused for gotcha. like good behavior and compliance and honest, you know, being honest. So. <laughs> being honest. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was honest with them. I told them I had weed in my car, and they're like, bit. since you were honest with me, we won't fucking charge you with this. Right. They but took it, 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 they it's took so it home weird and how like it. so many people like look at the Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Look how many successful people are using all sorts of drugs oh, to get dude. ahead in life anyways. Listen to you this, know? boys. Okay, so my mom um works as a SBA compliance like loan closer. She closes loans. Moan closer. <laughs> is, is that what I said? I, I said loan. Moan closer. <laughs> I don't know. You guys are just making fun of me at this point when I'm actually no, pronouncing the words right. I don't know. I could have heard it wrong. I didn't hear that one. I didn't. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. But uh, she closes loans for fucking big businesses. Not like fucking the biggest. It's just big businesses that are even multi-million dollar companies. And right. she has to do like extensive ass reports on the people that she's doing business with. Mm-hmm. And she says, you would be surprised on how many motherfuckers that make so much money that she has to deal with that have DUIs on their records, that have oh, yeah. these little weed charges on their record and still end up being like really successful. For but it's sure. like, it's funny that she she said it specifically. She's like, when I all these people I do business with, they'll have a they'll have a weed charge when they were twenty years old mm-hmm. or something, and it stays with them their whole life. Yeah, which is wow. fucked up. They're doing good. They're doing good and have like their own business, but they still have that charge. Hey, on he them. smoked a plant when yeah. he was younger. Like that's I what I'm it, saying. I thought it goes away like after like seven years or ten years or something. Anyway, he do any, something like, sometimes, like, but it. depends it, on the charge. When it comes to certain shit. Um, Business wise, it don't matter if the government says they wipe that shit off your record or not. It comes up in certain well, deals, there. right? If yeah. you're making multi million dollars and you got to do something business with, they're gonna fucking pull up some shit on you, right. and they have you to do have that. Weed, no deal. Yeah. <laughs> what did he say uh, to Hancock? You look drunk. He said, "I've been drinking, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's simple as that. You look high. Oh, yeah. I've been smoking. Yeah. Uh, 
but then look how functional like we can be with weed too right yeah. so it's just so stupid it's really stupid um we were talking about something about like <clears throat> oh the government the government and, we're always talking about the government yeah, yeah we are the damn government Damn, damn. Uh, but anyways, about like how they were like giving it to giving drugs out to yep, um, yep. the slums and all that. Speak well, on, they do. They I remember. Do shit. I I just remember like uh, back in like one of my social studies classes in high school, uh, and I was talking. I was like, dude, the like the government can literally do whatever they want. If something shit happens, then they're gonna be doing whatever they you know what I mean, yeah. whatever they want. It doesn't matter what was before, what had been implemented before. I feel like things can happen. But uh, in this case, what I just saw recently was, and I was actually talking about this in the social studies class. I was like, if there was a draft, or I was just saying that they could bring the draft back. I yes, guarantee yeah. you that they yes. could bring the draft back. And then I just saw just the other day that they were like, if there ever is a draft. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, think about it. Saying, if there is a draft. Women now can be put into the draft. They're, I saw, I saw now, that. They're not. Um, I forget what the actual like term of it is, but like, so they're not they're exempt. Draft exempt. now, women can now women will be drafted as well. Yeah. What do you think about so that? Vinny? Why is that a thing? If if there is no draft, if there were, if we're not supposed to have a draft anymore. Exactly. Isn't it, saying, isn't like, it they feel like bring back the draft? And my teacher was like, "No, they can't." Yeah, does it feel like, weird that it's coming up? We had to sign up for it to get college a college loan. You had exactly. to sign up for the draft, right? Well, yeah, well, they made they made you. And you guys know that. Yep. See, here's what I want to think about when it comes to uh, like my bones would hurt. I couldn't go. When, when we Give when we numbers. add women to the draft, what is that really doing for us? And I'm more not numbers. I know, but that's more bodies. I wonder I if mean, they there could. Are uh, women in the army right now, so right. I mean, like, I know, I know, I'm like not saying, not dude. There's so much use. I'm. I know that there's just as smart as us. They can be just as physical as us. And I mean, there's certain abilities. For each of us, they get way more flexible. I mean, like, I wonder if they could like militarize like a factory, like to where they could like make women black women work at like, well, <laughs> no, not like that, but like work at like a factory, like making military equipment, if like need be. If we be, if yeah. we go into like World War Three or something like about that. Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> well, something like that. I mean, like instead of voluntary, it'd be like it'd be they'd be drafted mm -hmm. and be put to work, like like yeah, in like a labor war, camp kind of labor. thing. I just yeah, feel like labor. we could definitely. Protect our women and use them for a more logical solution. I, I mean, they they just as capable as running businesses and doing shit back at the homeland instead of fucking fighting <laughs> Mother we're Russia. Straight, we're getting straight fucking. I mean, prop, right? right now. Is like, that? I can, bro. For some reason, it just doesn't sound. I'm, I feel like off. it sounds like I'm shitting on women, and I'm no, trying no, 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 not no, no, to. No, no. I'm, I'm trying to do the opposite right now. I'm saying, no, no, I'm you're saying, saying it sounds that. like we're talking about like next year. Like it feels so like I'm, I'm, it could happen. Though, that that's the bring thing. It up. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, oh, just out of the blue, you guys are bringing this up. Why? And think about this though. Um, I don't weird. know. I was just thinking like China. China. China I was. I've been like, thinking about China since. We yeah, we talked about, about China this. last episode too. A little yeah. bit. But oh, about the women getting drafted. Think about China. Their numbers are like double us. Like we, yeah. we would need so many fucking. Well, not not in females though, right? Or oh, yeah. maybe still. it doesn't even matter. Or, That's what I'm saying. I think we all more, know right? the next big war is going to be mm. fucking nasty, nasty, nasty. Like it's gonna be weird. Bombs, <laughs> bomb, bombs. You know, big bombs, big bombs. And it's like, you're, you're talking about numbers, you know, power and numbers. Mm -hmm. But also, have you seen every movie in the world? I have the biggest army. Yeah, well, guess what? We have really big guns yeah. on the other side. You're going to say we have a Hulk. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Have you seen any movie? There's That's a always movie, motherfucker. There's always but an answer to big numbers. There's though? always an That's answer to big guns. There's like, you know, that, uh, that CRISPR. Hey, how about, yeah, see, how about Russia is taking us down from the inside? They're not even sending people over here. They're fucking Fuck. with our fucking social media and our network oh, so yeah. bad. Even listen, you've been listening to the know, same shit I have. We don't probably. even know who we are anymore. Half of, uh, like, dude, don't get me going on, like, Joe Rogan talks about it so much. <laughs> 
about how all these uh, groups and all these communities online are literally trolls in Russia. Yeah. Pissing, doing this shit on purpose. It's like the things yeah. in the riots. It's like, how did, how did uh, stacks of bricks get placed they there? Were, yeah. It's because there's, we're getting killed from the inside. Yeah. Russia's the Have sneaky you, attack right now, dude. The Have you heard about the uh, that online vigilante? Uh, Leo. His name is his name is Leo, and he's like. Uh, what about he, the? He wears one of those anonymous masks. Yeah. So what about anonymous? Is, is are they think, on a team? I think they exposed anonymous at one point. I, I know. Like so, are yeah. they are they American? Like are they on America's side? Or whose side are they on? Because they're hacking everybody. They're not on anyone's side. That's the point. They're just trying to expose. Yeah, but they got their own country all over the world. We can't say that we're good though. You know what right. I mean? We can't right. say that like Leo like America is the hero of the story. You know what I mean? Because it's just like it just goes back to um, that Snowden. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean. Right. He's going against the American government now. He's a terrorist. Uh, exactly. Whenever he's, trying he's to like wanting truth. to protect privacy. Yeah, privacy, trying to expose truth. And bro, it, so it almost reminds me of just like the old stories we we learned back in the day. Like in in history class, we hear the Romans go to war, and it's like we choose which side's right. Like, oh yeah, they destroyed. But now and nowadays, we see around the same place, you know, countries go to war, and like we have, you know, the our government tells us which one's right. We're going to back these guys. But I don't know. We're just like time hasn't shown who the good guy is right now. Also, um, I want to I wanna get everybody's answer on this. I think this is a good one for us. Okay. What What is like – what's even worth fighting a war for? Ooh. What What is our next war going to be about? I mean we had the war over oil and that's like the uh-huh. biggest thing – over the past 20, 30 years, whatever. Resources, yeah. I don't even know if that was worth it or whatever because no. it's like we still have fucking oil. Like, what happened? I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about you know, that. So, you know what I think electric. I could see is people claiming. Like, what's the next big war, man? I think it's going to be I, cybersecurity. Ooh. Hold like, on, what, what, well, Jack? that's what I was going to say rights. Our rights? Oh, yeah, yeah, that too. Because that's the only thing we have now. Yeah, I mean, that's we what it always promises. comes down See, to. Are anyway. you going to say that's our next war every... is a civil war just between our own people? No, no, no. Rights. That would be like a governmental. Yeah, I mean, that, that's like us going against. And that could be everywhere, bro. Literally, um, yeah. Just in, I think in, uh, I, uh, where was it? Turkey? Turkey. There was, like, there was like a women's day out there or something. There was like protests. Uh, uh, the women were out there, and the police were out there, like uh, uh, pepper bitches. spraying the women in the eyes <laughs> and shit. Ow. Damn! Let me go see if I could go find it right quick. That was rude of me to say that, but what'd you say? I said taser and bitches. I didn't mean <laughs> it. I was just joking. Uh, <laughs> but they were apparently. He said they were out there pepper spraying them and shit. Yeah. Fuck me. Oh uh, yeah. It, yep, in Turkey, uh, pepper sprayed women on international day Speaking for of Turkey, the elimination boys, gotta, of violence against women. Gotta, <laughs> that's what the that's what the parade was about, and they're doing it. <laughs> dude, they're over there well, what, whooping on them. What was that group that a bunch of people freaked out in the U.S. about? It was a a, a women's group that they were trying to um, not martial law. Um, fuck. It was something from like. The European countries, uh, but it was like women got treated as a, like a house cat there. Like they get stoned with rocks and shit. Oh, but women yeah, over yeah, here yeah. were like, we want that. And it's like, are you, why do you want that? Like Wait, there was, want that. yes, there was women groups that got, like Joe Rogan talked about it a lot. Okay. Uh, there's a name for it, like a the group. And I'm not thinking of it, but there was a bunch of women like protesting over here. We want this here. We want this in America. This is what we want. And it's like they didn't even know what they were cheering for because they got so mixed up in this fucking like yeah. scandal or whatever the fuck it was. Right. To be fighting weird. for a right that you're you're like you're is, is the Bad. belief is yeah. like you're lit- literally I the quotes was like women got put in such a class. They were like a house cat huh. of species but, to the to the those people. It was it was a good question what you had asked too though Mike like well, next what, war, what, what yeah. would a war yeah. even be worth fighting for what do you think, today Vince? and it's uh I think the next war 
Well, probably he, he be said with the cyber shit. Uh, China and over. I think it's going to be us backing Taiwan as a country, and then China wants Taiwan as their like as a part of their. They think Taiwan's yeah. still part of China. Yeah. And China wants independence, or not China. Taiwan wants independence from the Chinese Chinese government. It's like we have. We're sitting here, and we're you know, as a country, it's like we got to decide which one we back. And that almost is like his question, what's worth going to war for as our entire country? Because it's not like only a part of our country can go to war. Like, oh, we're over here on these states. We don't want to go to war. No, so so in Vinny's situation. Well, it's like we, we still haven't gone to war over human rights, obviously, because yeah. North Korea fights human rights and China has yeah, doesn't I'm, give I'm human saying, rights. What do, what do we get out of it if we go to war with China yeah. for that? If and we it, join up with Taiwan. Because there's a lot of, you know, you can look at it as like, oh, we just got attacked and now there's a war. That's that makes like, more that sense. makes, I mean, there's a little bit more reasoning for attacking and starting a war because you've right. got attacked. you got to defend yourself. But if it's over kind of what I think what you were saying, which is more of like a non-direct attack, mm-hmm. like we there would have to be like an overall, like we're getting something out of this. And we're I protecting think. Protecting the world. Like when I when I see a, a good war, like something that's <laughs> meant I to meant to war. be like a, a real thing, <laughs> yeah. is like not to put cor- like a, this corona thing into uh, direct. Like I'm not using this as my um, what I think is going to be the next war. I'm just using it as an example. So say like corona oh, virus. Yeah, Corona right now virus. is like shutting everyone down all across the world, right? right so right, we're right. all dealing with it, but. What I think like a good war would be to solve this is like if China comes out with this idea, uh, get this implanted in you, and it, you'll never and, get sick. yeah you'll never like yeah. so like Bro. as soon as someone yeah. takes the next step and saying we're changing Thanks. the world as we know it, mm. then that's when it's like all right someone has to do something about this. There's gonna be a war. But do you think right now so we you're talking that? As You're talking country. about like a new world order, Mike. Yeah, world if order, so, yeah. like because all of us, every continent, like China, Russia, we all got like a little government systems, and we got like a way of living that we're so used to for the past however many years. Yeah. We're we're living laws from when was the Constitution? Seventeen seventy six. There you go. Yeah. So we're living that. Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> hundreds of years later. So I think the next one would be if, like Jared said, if a new world order or something comes out, anonymous hacks every yeah. fucking one, and we have to take them over. Real or quick, whatever. Have you guys seen the new South Park that just came out? No, I heard no, it's really good. I need to see that, Shit, bro. I want to see that. My God, you got to. But yeah, I'm thinking next war would be. I want to say resources, but like we've already seen that. So eventually, like you said, I feel like eventually, maybe in the next hundred years, two hundred years, the whole entire world will come together. We're like, oh, we got to work together. You know what I mean? And then at that point, whoever is in charge will be able to then be in charge of the world Mm -hmm. because the people in charge of their countries, it's only their countries, right? So once we all come together as a new world, Mm kind of like where that new world order comes in. Whoever is on top, they're going to fight now because now it's like, oh, shit, I do have control of the whole world. Mm -hmm. And then whoever battles, it's going to be like a within those people who, you know, it's going to be a war like that. Assassinations, boom, 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 boom. And then there's going to be one motherfucker or one group. And then that war, I think it would be like all of us fighting together against that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Enter enter the Antichrist. Boom. It's yeah, it's been written. Also, I, I I always take into consideration talking about this of uh, our next. Uh, a lot of people don't take into possibility just because they don't believe in it yet that our next war might not even be be between us. Yeah, we might be invaded one day or something like that. And I'm not trying to get super crazy into it, but <laughs> like I word. keep that in the back of my head that there might be a chance one day where we're gonna have to group together with China. And Russia and, and fight, fight motherfuck something else. What if it's AI? Oh my god! Or the god. AI? Yeah, See? there you go. See, Elon's so like hesitant. He's like, I don't know. We're already past the the point that we can return. He's have like, you seen yeah. like? Uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Have We're you seen like, uh, Ready Player One? Not yet. Dude, yeah, watch, yeah, watch it. I'm, HBO. Okay. Pretty sure. Okay. Watching. Well, you know how the guy like you would like it. He's so smart. You would and change the world. Write right? it down for me. 
that he yeah. knew he knew that like he couldn't just give this power to anybody. Mm -hmm. Like okay. he knew that it was so life changing that he couldn't just give it to anybody. And I think that's the same thing with the like the like Elon. I really feel like he knows something so life changing right now. He just hasn't done it because he knows what might mm. like what could happen if we use it wrong bad yeah. someone's gonna try to always. weaponize it it's yeah. gonna turn into a weapon somehow plus if you create something and you've never tested it in real life you don't really know what's gonna happen so he might have something like you said that's game changing life changing but he don't even know if it really could yeah, go that's the true, way he wants true. jared what do you think is the next war god, i mean god forbid <clears throat> Honestly, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, no, go ahead. Sorry. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> like it could be more of like a, a power type deal. You know, mm -hmm. if you take, cause like you, it could not even be us going or pursuing, you know, the bad guy, you know what I mean? It could be, like you said, somebody coming towards us. If they control America. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty big one to control. Not saying that they, you know, that they could or not, but I mean, it could be a whole power thing. I mean, there's, look at all these people, uh, these political figures. I mean, like Putin, I don't know if we'd have a big problem. You know, I don't know if we'd have a problem with Putin yet or not, but, uh, Putin, uh, Kim Jong, that's not really like a problem that we, I mean, we don't even know where these countries are at with like their agendas and with what they're doing right now. But I mean, like, there's there's like people and i don't think like honestly in my own opinion i don't think trump helped the face of america <laughs> with with uh his no tongue. i don't think he helped at the all. only thing i can like i think he can made credit our... him for is like the whole north korea thing like we uh, past you know uh presidents and shit it's always like well north korea is just you don't touch it you don't talk to him boo 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 but yeah, Trump did like. I mean, he just said, "All right, well, see, I don't come here." I don't know too much about the politics and business side of what he did and didn't do. No and one had been to North Korea, and they went to like that little line to where you know, boo boo, and they shook hands and shit. I'm like, whoa! Yeah. But maybe that was more of like a yeah, see, image I don't know thing. Anything about that? But who knows? Because I mean, Trump could have had his own agenda as exactly. well. Exactly. You know hey, what I I'm mean? the dude. Like, I'm the motherfucking. You know what I mean? Like I'm the I'm the dude who fucking touched the the most evil man in the world or something i don't even know bro like i think, <laughs> I think what's gonna happen is uh somewhere deep in kentucky the hell's the hell's gate is gonna open up we're all gonna have to start fighting demons holy shit how about that Let's everybody it. has to switch their ammo over to rock salt <laughs> you have to start using everything iron he's <laughs> everything iron you have to start learning old Egyptian Hens. shit, yeah. <laughs> Keeping motherfuckers away. You have to start cutting and burning crests and um. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, did you uh, watch uh, Hawkeye at all? Season. I did. I watched the first episode and like half of the second one. I didn't get De all the way. Through. Depending on who's playing football tonight, I'm either going straight home and watching Hawkeye or I'm going watch football. But. Fucking Colts loss. Dude, yeah, we're, we were going to yeah. get into sports here. And I think we need to at least shout out real quick, uh, happy Thanksgiving again. Oh, yeah. Um, we did it at the very, very end of the last podcast. But we, we're, and we, we done ate it now. Yeah, now we're like, I mean, dude, I'm four. I just had leftovers. I'm four. I had four Thanksgiving dinners I went to. Like four. So many. Feast. Yeah. Feast. I felt like a king. Literally, I wish we ate like that every day as a community. I wish we could get together that as cool. people, like back in the fucking like Vikings day and shit like that, where literally it was like a community thing. All people ate, came yeah. together. Everybody made food. You worked hard to grow that food, and like it was a community thing. It was a feast every fucking day. Yeah. That's how th that's how people ate back then. That could solve people now, going hungry to a certain extent because it changed over the years. The Browns and Ravens played tonight. Uh, that's decent, but I can. I hate both. Of the I do want. I, I want to say something about Hawkeye a little bit. Like, go ahead. Go I ahead. Hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you could. You could say whatever you want about it, because I know I'm gonna. I'm watch not gonna it. like spoil anything. Well, um, I don't care if you do. Really, I would just want to say Hawkeye. 
Eh, just definitely wasn't like my favorite. I knew he was going to say Bender. it. We didn't, we didn't tie him in. <laughs> I, didn't, I mean, I wasn't, I, I never was like drawn to his character at all. Right. Uh, but um, he's, he's still a badass, though. And like the, the I mean, his character, uh, like in the comics and all that, like that's, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. I mean, like you can shoot arrows and you got like a different. <laughs> you know, <laughs> shit arrows, on him. You got like you a different variety of arrows. One's ice and one's a bomb or some shit, but it's just like. His was the ability and the, the, the IQ, I think that really helped him out. I mean, black smart. Or- uh, to, to go with what you're saying, Jared, I think the only strong connection he had in the Marvel Universe that we've seen cinematic-wise in the movies, not comics, because m- comics, he's a fucking big deal. I mean, he's one of the oldest superheroes to be in a comic. But um, in the cinematic universe, the only really strong tie he has is with Black Widow and the connection they had. And it's like, yes, they gave him cool-ass scenes in the movie, and he had some sick ass arrow shots, like Jared said. <laughs> right. But other than that, he didn't fucking take down a whole entire alien ship. He didn't fucking slice a dude in half with his like ankle. Like he didn't do that. No. And well, I and I guess like what I was trying to get at too was like I could just like by the art of the show, like how like they have their art to like present it. It like it just doesn't seem like um like a, a super big grab to me although like whenever i did watch it i mean like i was like i was kind of like uh <coughs> zoned in on it a little bit you know what i mean but and i think it's like again it's another piece of the puzzle so <laughs> so um i guess i was like it's not the same feeling that i got for like wandavision <laughs> or loki you know what i mean but i also was a little bit skeptical about those two and even uh the Winter Soldier and Falcon, and then I was uh, actually pleasantly surprised. So, so hold on, let me take I mean, this. They could they could definitely make something out of it. So I guess I have to stay tuned with it. So you you're saying all this, and you haven't watched the the Hawkeye series about him yet? No, he has. He's watched the first okay. episode and half the second. Okay, well then let me see what you got to say because you've watched. I watched. Yeah, I just finished the second episode. It's oh, okay. it's decent. I mean, like he was saying, it's not another... as good as WandaVision. Not as good as Loki. So far, I mean. I mean, I'm interested in the Kate, the character of Kate Bishop, and then how how Hawkeye ties in, and I want to see if that Yo, uh, is it Yolanda? What's her name from Yolanda? Yolanda. Uh, uh, I forget her name from uh, Black Shield? Widow. No. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Her sister. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, okay. I know. What you're I want to see how she ties in to it. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think they have very much to to like. <clears throat> tie him into I just the saw universe, a rumor right? that there was a leak of a uh, oh Sex Kingpin things. they got they got the Kingpin yeah. uh, oh, from yeah. Daredevil was in it I I think that like maybe hopefully they really like really get a good developing with his character cuz I never was like oh sweet Hawkeye's here <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> hey, <what's up? laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I hope this is like a good way that he, we just, can develop like his his character. Johnny Barbecue and, Rubble. And Dude, he's movie. literally always on a building somewhere and you have no idea how he got there. And right. it's like, he can't jump can you climb? supersonic. He can't, no, like he's like, oh shit, that was my last shot. Well, I'll see you guys later. Right. Until he gets picked up by Spider-Man or something. Like, he goes plays Xbox at his mom's house. I don't know. I'm definitely going to watch story, it. He, it seems like his personal story is is more the case uh, with him. Yeah, that makes like, sense. Not even as a superhero, but like the, the troubles that he has within. And that makes him, and he is like, well, what he, I will say about it, he's very human. He like, should be dead. It's very, uh, it's, he should it's, be fucking you know, dead. He should be dead. Yeah, he should be fucking dead. We yeah. lost Black Widow over him. Oh no, you son of a well, bitch! he tried. Yeah, he tried going. I know, but he, he should have been him. Fuck him. Oh, he made enough the money. First Avengers, he was he was hypnotized by Loki. Like most of the movie, he I saw something where he said, "Yeah, he I hated, remember that." He hated uh, being Loki's minion, and Offset, he would always practice like his on-screen death by himself. Like to be prepared for it, so um, he did because he thought they were just gonna kill him off. Wait, you're saying Jeremy, Hawkeye? Renner. Jeremy Renner, probably wow. the actor. That's why like, I'm not gonna be here much longer. Yeah, he's like, I'll just practice. Let me just dying. get this over with. <laughs> that chick, who who's the who's the young girl? What's her name? Uh, Haley or what's her name? Kate Bishop, uh, Haley Steinfeld. 
Ellie Stein, yeah, she. <laughs> I mean, she's she's pretty cute, but uh, she's, she's, pretty, she's, she's, she's she's like our age. Yeah, she's she's uh uh like twenty four, I think. She's no, like about to hit her up. Yeah, hit her in the DMs. What's up, girl? I, th- I was like, damn, I want to uh, hit her up and tell us to get us a role you. in the movie. We'll just be, be this. set we'll be for this, fucking this eternity. We're at every single restaurant. We're in the corner. <laughs> All Look, yeah, she's cutie. Yeah, don't mean, don't mean. Yeah, she can, she can <laughs> get in her costume for moi. Oh. Hey, also, uh, I wanted to bring up, did you guys see anything about the, um, uh, I forget what it's called, the, like the, the fights, boxing versus MMA, the triad? Uh, Trini- Trinidad, or, or triad. Tri- yeah, I feel the like triad. I heard something about that, yeah. Who the fuck is triad? You gotta break triad, it down. The ring is literally a triangle. Yeah. And it's got ropes, oh my god. Like a what is going ring. on? Um, break, it, break it down, Jared. Let me see uh, this shit. Matt, dude. Matt Perry. You guys know him from UFC. Yeah. 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 Matthew Perry. He fought and uh, he got knocked down and still still won. Came oh. out on top. Uh, I didn't actually watch these. I just saw uh, the results. But it, I guess it was a whole bunch of MMA fighters and a whole bunch of Snoop Dogg Bear or something. Is this fighters. A, is this a, is this um. What's it called? It's a thriller. It's thriller. Yeah. Is this a thriller event? Mm-hmm. It so, might be. So you got I, multiple uh, different types of yeah, fighting it's styles. It's, it's different types of fighting styles fighting mm-hmm. all at once. Yeah, or? yeah. Frank Mir fought. Frank <laughs> Mir, yeah. He because he boxed in that one. Uh, yeah. He got <laughs> he got messed he got messed up though. He was like oh. drunk, like stumbling, like oh, he no. probably was drunk. He he's uh, he looks like a cocaine fucking addict. <laughs> Like he got in a bad motorsec- motorcycle mo- motorcycle in the midst of his career. <laughs> oh uh, my god, Ruben. Never mind. <laughs> Don't say but that. It's cool Ruben's how the ring like, is set up too. I saw a video of like eight people running at each other and fighting. It was fucking crazy. Why are these dude. All- look at him? I don't, that I don't think that's the same thing. <laughs> it's not that the fucking was, video. That is a picture that's of nightmares. Yeah. Did you see that? You go to sleep and it's him. I told you that dude is That was creepy. Oh, look at the this, bro. What the fuck? You basically just It's so much tighter. There's Frank Mir getting KO'd. So wait, is yeah, that the jump. same thing? Or yeah, it's not showing like, the video, but that's him getting KO'd. He's got a big old belly. Bro, look up. Um, there's a... Uh, I don't want to... Oh, yeah, Darius and Makachev. Yeah, that, that too. I wanted to. T- I actually wanted to bring that up, too. That's a good-ass fucking fight. Yeah. But uh, in football today... Uh, Fuck Darius. He, he knocked uh, out other dude. Colts right. and Buccaneers. There was a Buccaneers lineman that got his fucking helmet... And then Shift- tooth. Vita Vea. Yeah. His helmet shifted up to where uh, he no longer had a face mask over where his teeth were. He got his tooth. And he's got his boom. tooth fucking like chipped out. And you saw it in slow mo yes. in the video. It, it looked fucking disgusting, wa- bro. And he had a big old smile on his face afterwards. Like he didn't give a fuck. I like football. <laughs> and that's what the guy said. He said, that's a defense alignment right there. Look at him. He's like, yep, that's where my tooth See was. his tooth go flying. Ow. Oh, you can't see it on my view because uh, we're in the way. What do, oh, what do you do? Uh, I, if I was the guy... Movement. We're in the way. We got to get out of the way. Oh. There we go. Move. <laughs> see I, I wish we won that fucking game. Dude, that game was nuts. It was a great game. That last play, we almost fucking returned it on the kick. Bro, oh if my that would have I would have screamed. I was yelling in my crib. Look at him smiling. Oh. See, Bro, what I was gonna there's say. There's so many what ifs in that game. Like, if so we didn't many. fucking muff that punt, oh, <laughs> oh my if god, we would have played Taylor uh, well, a little we bit more than what the, we did. We abandoned the run game in like the last like quarter of the game. I think we definitely should have used him more, but I think we were trying to stay back on him because every every team in the league right now knows that man is hot. They're right, going right, for right, his right, head. Right, right. Yeah. You put that dude in the game, they just know, oh my god, he's probably getting the ball. I mean, and that is realistic. I feel, like, I feel like he knows that, though. Like, but that's what like, happens, dude. dude. Open it up. Let's do it. You no, know, he's no, no, he don't give it. a shit. He does not give a shit. But that that's why I think we held off. But fuck Tom Brady. Fuck but Tom like Brady. like Gronk. Okay, you right, guys yeah. know Gronk's over there. Why are you guys leaving him and so wide open? open? Like he's just not a dude to guard. I know. And, Did and you like watch him? Not a fucking dynamic duo. Like they don't do this shit. He had they like 140 yards together. receiving. I'll fucking Gronk beat did. both of their asses. <laughs> oh my god. The same. I time. saw that dude was in a goat attire. Yeah. 
Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to see. Um, Angry. Oh fuck! I'm stupid. Hey, I'm we're all going to the Patriots Colts game. Oh shit! I oh, completely yeah. forgot. It's hey, on my. Hey. Um, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, uh, dude! Patriots are looking good, dude. God, we gotta get. They prepared are to lose. <laughs> like Mac Jones <laughs> is taking now. this team to another level right at the end of the season, and it's really weird. They, if you did you watch them play today? No. Oh no, my god! They it was killed a good game. the Titans. Fuck! I'm good for highlights. us. Good for us, though. It is good for us, but Uh-oh. we still <laughs> had to get Did this I make game. You gone? Was it me? Yeah. Did you start? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's it. gonna come. <laughs> it's gonna come to me. Or creeping what? around. Dodge me. <laughs> Bob left. Bob right. Oh, I was gonna go back. This I keep forgetting this. <laughs> uh, that dude that got his tooth knocked out. If yeah. I was the guy that did that to him. And they all make a shit ton of money. I would have hit him up online and been like, "Hey, I'll got pay, you too. <laughs> I'll pay for whatever it costs to get your tooth fixed or whatever." Fifty thousand. It might be, but I'd do it. No, yeah, I, that'd be nice. I'd do it. I'd be like, "Dude, I respect that. You're like, that's it's football that happens." It was I, an I fucking he, his helm, his head was a little bit down, and he just kind of went up like this and. He didn't know that guy's helmet wasn't all the way on. Right. So it was like... He didn't but, go in there to take his tooth off. But He's then there's players ball. like Andrews and Dejo that fucking do that shit on purpose. And they'll they'll hit you up afterwards not to say, hey, I got you. They'll say, ha-ha, motherfucker. Bitch. You Shut guys see uh, LeBron, too. those altercations the past, couple, the past week. that The one where he the, bloody that guy's eye. He got then, hit, dude. <laughs> and then dude ran it. Bro, the memes of that was great. Was Isaiah the, Stewart and then the fans. The game fuck out of him. The Raiders and... No, we're talking uh, about LeBron. Basketball. Oh, basketball. My fault. LeBron yeah. hit that dude. And then uh, Isaiah what? I, I, it's like Isaiah Stewart. And then yeah, when he was in uh, in Indiana, he he made two fans leave. Bro, how does LeBron have like, that? Hold authority? on, hold on. I want to explain to everyone what my perspective of I, this is. I know what they you know, said. You I know think. when you're on the playground as a little kid, yeah. and another kid just did something, and a kid will go tattletale. Uh-huh. Like they'll chase the closest teacher down. They'll be like, yeah. And bum, bum, literally, bum, bum, bum. that's what he did. He went up to the rest the ref and like tapped him on the shoulder yeah. like like a little kid like hey hey this kid just did this and like was pointing like being a little fucking kid him, yeah. and was like pointing at like get them out of here pointing at him and shit someone and he's told being a baby me, someone told me that those people said something like related I to get his it. kids i get like it like something foul about his kid he said Which, it, it was some shit that I would have never said to anybody. Yeah, and it was like I, I want to know so bad. I want to know. I like. I gotta <laughs> hear it. <laughs> <laughs> would you really? We could say it like to you, not on camera. <laughs> but here's my point. You guys know what he said? I here's mean, my I point. Got told from someone, but I don't know if it's completely true. And here's if it my is, point. It's fucked up. Any other fan in the league, the ref would have said, "Shut the fuck up and play ball." Yeah. That was LeBron James getting his baby bitch ass <laughs> way, like he always does. <laughs> And that's not it. I'm not being funny. You guys are thinking I'm he's fucking a, hating, and that's not hate. That is human. Said, I'm funny how? What? I'm a oh, yeah, clown? I was just watching that today. Yeah, I said, funny how? Funny I'm how? Clown? Do I fucking amuse you? <laughs> I mean, it's just, he, he punches dudes in the fucking face, barely gets in any trouble for it, and then he, he kicks people out like he's just the god. I, I mean, don't understand it's how just, he can do that. It's It's stupid, man stupid to me i hate that because any other player could have had that happen to him and i get it if they were saying really bad shit that's yeah. not cool but if any other player did that bro it would have been like dude we don't give a fuck i guarantee it unless someone Play is ball. pulling out a glock on the fucking court True. play the fucking game <laughs> 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 Play fucking ball. No Put a fucking what. a fucking montage of my rants, and it'll, it'll probably ninety percent of them LeBron. about LeBron. <laughs> I hate that motherfucker. But he loves you. He, he beats us every game. Hey, look, look at this. I'm sitting here talking shit. Woody, I'll, we'll send this to Woody. Uh, I'm sitting here talking shit. That was fourth quarter overtime when this yeah. happened. He kicked him out of the game. Mm-hmm. And then after that, he in the next four minutes, he put up like 20 points, yeah. like seven rebounds. The motherfucker ate our team alive right after that. It so, was fourth quarter overtime? Well, it was <laughs> <laughs> It was in overtime. I said fourth quarter just in case it I was watched, uh, I watched that. I, I, I repeated it <laughs> believing it. <though. laughs> I know you did. I heard you say it. I'm like, it, wait, no. he thinks it. It, it, wasn't, right. it wasn't their fourth overtime. Right, it right, was, right, 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 right. 
I was saying it like it was either or. It was it overtime, been- but still. So this is what I'm thinking. In overtime, so he went past. Yeah, he went the four quarters and then went overtime and then decides I'm going to go yeah. kick these guys out of here. Yeah. Like dude, with the whole, here game. the whole game. That's why they didn't That's- care. <laughs> they were like, "Fuck it." What's we funny is I be- was like, hmm. "I've been at pace." <laughs> I've been to Pacer games with LeBron there a few times. I've been to two games, <laughs> and I'm in the. I, <laughs> I've been, dude, I've Stop. been up in the top rows yelling Damn. some bullshit like that to him. You I, foul. Yes, I have. I when he played on the Heat, I was yelling all kinds of nasty shit at that dude. Yeah, I swear to God, dude, we we beat him in the in the Eastern Conference Finals. The one, the very best game of my life I've ever been to. And the the Heat fans are walking out of the building at the end of the game because we're winning. You beat them in one game? No. Well, yeah, one game of the the Eastern Conference uh, semifinals. Right, right, right. right. But, uh, dude, the shit, the amount of shit people said. Not only On me, his head, I've dude. never seen trash talk in my life. And 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 when I was at that game. Miami fans just walking out. People, oh, you're man. fucking kid. I mean, this. Your That's mom's that. that you're, I mean, said. everything. Wow, what's up with this kid? It's just an easy target for them. No, just, Ronnie. Uh, no, yeah, Ronnie. everything. Yeah. I mean, everything. They pulled everything out the book. It was like That's you stink like a fucking off just bitch. To get under his skin. Just like yeah, everything. Yeah. Get him it out. It does of his take head. a lot to to get that. You know, that much hate. You know, everybody's got a breaking point, but also at the same time, like they're. I mean. The fans have a right to say, as long as it's not like malice at the palace. Yeah, you know, who knows? It might happen again. We some Good. crazy moments. <laughs> hey, like like uh, a bunch of people say, dude. If you promise me that at every fight or uh, every <laughs> no 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 hold on at War, every game fight. every game I went to there was gonna be a fight that breaks out at the end. I'd be a season ticket holder. Yeah, I'd be going to fun. every game, get drunk all game, watching the game, and then a fight breaks out and everybody fights. I'd go every time. Doesn't sound like a I'm bad in. experience. <laughs> Count me in. He said, I'm in. I'm in. He said, I'm in. Bro, this is crazy. I had this shit saved, and we were talking about this. This refers back to what we were talking about earlier. It was Dr. Se- uh, Dr. Dr. Sebi. Okay. Dr. Uh, a society that keeps cures a secret so mm. they can continue to sell medication for huge profits is not a real society, but a huge mental asylum. Oh okay, my God! Bro. Slow that down again. Say that again. What? I didn't. I mean, that's a lot of words right there, man. Say it again, so a, Jared. A society that keeps cures a secret, yeah. so that they can continue to sell medication for huge profits, is not a real society, mm-hmm. but it's more like a huge mental asylum. Yeah. We're so we're it's we're like a we're trapped they can, in they the can give us the right thing, but they're sitting here giving us Take things. This. You know, so you we just, better. oh, yeah, open your mouth for now. Yeah. Take three of these you today. You're, you won't change it. Have all. you been listening to Rogan's most recent podcast and, tell, and them talking about um, them not releasing the uh, mitochondria or like the antibodies? Mito- yeah, the, whatever, yeah. Whatever you're saying. You say that, yeah. They're like was, uh, mito. Those are fun to learn about. Mito colloidal antibody. Mito collateral. Mito caloric antibodies. Yeah, see, he got it. There it is. What is it? Mito caloric antibodies. The antibodies. Yes. You're okay. smart, man. They're like the the nat the federal government's like restricting states from getting them to people with because it's for people it, who don't know that that's what one of the, the biggest factors uh, of Joe Rogan's. Um, experience with covid he that's yeah, why other, he was other able, celebrities also oh yes 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 that's, i've heard about this he took yeah. that and that's basically one of the biggest things that not it's not ivermectin but it's another drug called yes, it's I've just anti- it's just like a shot of antibodies that are supposed to up your it's a vit- resistance yeah. to the drug it's yeah. a souped up vitamin pack but the federal government is restricting states from getting it because in like, the hopes oh, of people well, yeah i'm not treating you so illegal mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is that the Wait, same what? thing that trump got yeah. Yeah. Like a cocktail yeah. full of stuff. You know, Eli Lilly. Did you guys hear about the new variant? Yeah, I oh, forget what God. it's called. It's from South a- S- South Super Africa. Supermax customer service. Oh, my it's, God. It's, the new uh, variant's called... Omicron. Omicron? Oh, yeah. I knew it started with an O. It's called We're All Fucked 2.0. Omicron? I mean, bro. This sounds like a fucking. These like, motherfuckers wheel are just company. making shit up. Tire company, Omnicron. No, I'm saying like they're just like. <laughs> why is there new variants? Like, 
Seventy-five thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, there's probably different variants of the flu. I would assume for sure, for sure. And, but yeah, we don't yeah. go around saying, "Oh, I got the fucking omnidirectional fucking bullshit <laughs> I <knew> flu." <laughs> I would say it right. like that. I did. I mean, I don't. We don't say that. We just so say, I got, I got, I got, I got a flu. They had a got totally flu. different name whenever they found it, but then they decided. Why don't it was we just Autumn keep Chrome. saying, oh, corona, we got Corona, we got COVID, we got COVID. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you thought Corona would fuck up the beer company, but like it's it almost didn't. made them better. It didn't. It did at first, though. There was like a little scare at the very, They're very like, beginning. Oh my God. And then everyone was like, I'm like, drinking. Yeah, they're actually the putting Corona in the beer. Yeah. yeah. No, put the fuck <laughs> shut up. <laughs> You know me, I was on them. Yeah, I corona every time. time. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm drinking with shit. Every time. Um, shit. Tis the season. So, Drink a crown. I wanted to go back on a quick question. What's our favorite Thanksgiving food? Ooh, that's a good question. And it doesn't have to oh be God. like a typical Thanksgiving <laughs> food. If you're family, if you're family. Oh my God. Bam, 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 If your family fucking does tacos for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like, Everyone I don't said that. That's what I'm saying. Just what mm-hmm. is your favorite thing for your Thanksgiving? And let's go around set. You start. Um, mine is my mom does homemade pumpkin pies and rolls mm. and bread. Ooh. Like yeah. homemade pumpkin, like carving the pumpkin or uh, like shaving the pumpkin up and yeah. cooking it and shit. Mm. Best thing every every year. That's what I look forward to. Jared? Bro, I love a mashed potatoes, boy, with oh. some gravy. Oh, my gosh. I always think like I, it's just mashed potatoes. Like get and a whole fucking scoop gravy. of it, dude. And then like I overeat on some mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah, because there's – dude, you put mashed potatoes on your plate no matter what part of the plate you put it on. That's the heaviest side. It's like no, bending the plate yeah. down. Yeah. It's it's that fucking <laughs> slapper, dude. That fucking mashed potato, stick. dude. Vince, Vince, the mashed potatoes at Ulan, you know how we'd whip them up in the big old mixer? Yeah. And yep. then we could just like we take a whole like after we empty it out and there's still the mashed potatoes on all the sides. You just oh. fucking ring that bad boy. And just, so good, bro. Smash. <laughs> so good. Oh yeah, I know what you did. All right, all right. So mashed potatoes, and you said your mama's pumpkin pies and mm-hmm. rolls. Okay. Um, I think I'm going a nice straight out of the oven. Green bean casserole oh with the French God. fried green bean casserole, man. with the French fried onions on it. You know what I do? Oh, I good. said, let me put some bacon in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let me put some seasonings on it. Get it real nice. Oh, I was waiting for someone to say that or uh, deviled eggs. No, I know not. I don't like deviled eggs. I don't. I don't, I don't like either no, one of the no, things. No, I love just deviled eggs. I love deviled eggs. But I don't like the word. I don't like the word. I saw a picture of a devil like shitting. That's you know, Chuck. Devil that Chuck out. posted that. Yeah, I saw that. He's literally shitting him out. It's a sin when you eat it. You got four or more. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you only eat three. Okay, Vince. Uh, I like. I like the. Uh, I like a pumpkin pie with whipped cream on it. <laughs> He's smacked whipped that. cream I'm on hungry. it. Okay. And uh like a lot of whipped cream. Yeah, cool. me cool, too, bro. Cool whip. Cool, yeah, cool. cool. And then cool whip. I like uh white meat turkey with oh, yeah. I'm like a dinner roll, like I make a sandwich out oh, of it with gravy. Yeah. Uh, it's mm-hmm. so good. Mm-hmm. A little slider. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the yeah, turkey is so slider. so good because then afterwards when you like get all tired and knock out yeah. Like yeah. you get knocked out oh my gosh. Turkey is a good one too. Yeah. But what about ham? Do you guys eat ham Oh yeah. Things? Oh yeah. I eat I eat some ham this. sliders I, too, like that. Listen to this. So I Go get my son from Taylor at around like three ish, right? And I'm and I'm taking him to go to my my uh, aunt and uncles in Frankfurt and shit. Boo 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 boo. I get there, the food's gone. <laughs> I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck just happened? Devin came by and fucking like ate all of the fucking food and like took <laughs> home like four portions, bro. And you what? <laughs> yeah, bro, everything. You didn't really get to eat your own dinner? Barely any. You're fucking I swear to God, no ham was there. I would have drove to that dude's I was house. So <laughs> I Give me him. a plate. I, was like, I heard you, yeah, I heard you got me a plate, yeah. bro. He hey. said dinner was at three. I'm like, you <laughs> son of a bitch, bro. He said he got there at one. I'm like, bro, I dude. was asleep. He said, bro, bro. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> dinner was at three. Bop. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Damn, bro. I wanted that ham. That's messed up, bro. Uh, what, what about... Uh, um, for you being late? 
I literally is what he basically was getting at. I, th- I think this is a newer thing, at least from what I've heard. Wait, wait, real quick. Sugar cream pie? Anyone? Sugar cream pie? Oh, sugar cream pie. And you Never know what really. I just had was a chess pie? Oh my chess? gosh. What's that? Bro. Chess pie, bro. Look up the ingredients because I don't know, but it tastes like. <laughs> it sounds good. So it sounds good. good. I, I mean, I've ate a lot of different desserts on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's like dessert heaven. I oh, know. What were I, you we, going to say? Um, yeah, go. I was just going to say, it's like a newer thing for me at least, and I've only heard it over the past like five or six years. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's been done way longer oh, than that's that. that's it. But uh, smoking so smoking a turkey. Yes, we, I ate smoked turkey. There, yeah, that's that's what – Or no, deep fried. Sorry. I had – see, deep fried and smoked is like a new thing. People are not cooking their turkeys in the oven and shit. Like they're, no, they're switching, they're switching it up. Custard-styled pie with crisp brown topping. <sighs> Eggs, milk, oh my gosh. flour, lemon, buttermilk, sugar. Some have cinnamon in it, bro. Mm. That chef oh. pie is so good. I bet it just like just makes all your senses come alive. It you does. Know what I mean? You guys, you were talking about dirt uh, what, how how to do a turkey. Uh oh, um, smoking a turkey. A lot of people are switching over to smoking turkeys. Mm-hmm. Bro, this year I had it's so good. A, it's an air fryer so good. for air fried for like turkey? A turkey. Oh really? Air fried turkey, bro. Holy oh my shit. gosh. Fell off the bone or what? Point. I ate a deep fried turkey. Yeah. Oh, all the yeah. bone, all on the bone. Like all you do is like it's like the middle part is like a cone, and you just stick like where the you know the bottom of the turkey. Or oh, wait, is that the, that's their head? Yeah. Is that their head? It's their head. Yeah. Or wherever the hole's at, that's you the put chest. all the stuff like in. Their... <laughs> you yeah. stick you stick that on the on the cone, and then you put like the lid over over that, and dude, yeah. it is you it was in. so good. You guys, have you had dirt pudding before? You oh, yeah, that dirt is? pudding. Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. Oreo dirt pudding. pudding. That shit's always made at my family. Um, we had cheesecake. It's cherry pies. Pecan, pecan, cheesecake uh, is pecan good. pies is, yeah. Like the just, little pecan, the little dish is like almost like a casserole. See, but I like pecan pie with like a ice cream, a hot pecan pie oh. with ice cream scoop. Vanilla and, bean. Vanilla bean. A la bean. mode. Oh, a la mode. Is that what what is called? that? A la mode. It's called a la mode. Uh, when you put ice cream with it, like... Oh, apple, uh, pie, apple pie a la mode. Oh, so that's pecan, really pecan pie see, a la mode. Mm-hmm. Bro, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that sounds so good. That's so crazy. I didn't know that. Vince, you you chef you, but I'll never let you live down that time you put that Pop-Tart in my microwave with the foil on. <laughs> yeah, 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 it started popping yeah, dude, it started dude, I did that with an Arby's sandwich. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, because I was like, that's not Why the real foil. Why yeah, are you putting aluminum foil in my every single shit. piece? And your sandwich tastes like it and shit sometimes, I feel like. I can see that, yeah. Yeah. But like Arby's. She <laughs> Shout she, out Arby's. Hey, I got check, little Pop-Tart like bites, bro. Vinny, uh, check uh, the check, uh, check, uh, check, uh, the uh, Vikings game for me, please. Check out the game. We were getting beat, and I'm pretty sure we got beat, but I need to see that real quick. I think uh, the other big games this week, there was Green Bay versus the Rams. Mm-hmm. That was a huge game. I don't know who won. Um, who yeah, you else? got beat 34 to 26. Well, we fucking suck. Colts and the Vikings are probably going to get knocked out of the playoffs. I'm pissed. I'm real pissed because now I don't have anybody to like it. root for. Right. Unless, I mean, the Cowboys might make it, but I fucking, I don't really want to root for them. Shit, man! I want my team in there. No, no that's no. what I was trying to get at. Yeah, the Raiders and the Cowboys—they had like there was a little brawl on the. Floor. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Oh, yeah, hell yeah! Fighting here. And there. <laughs> Do you see? Uh, Timofi Tim- <laughs> Lopez got uh, lost his titles oh, yeah. last night. Timofi. Timofi. Yeah. Who the fuck is that? He's the guy that beat Lomachenko. Oh really? Shevchenko? No, Lomachenko. Boxing. <laughs> Shift. Different ones. Yeah, I don't know uh, the guy's name that beat him like a it's like the G. I'm not sure his name. What did they fight on? What was that like? Uh, like that was da- uh, the zone. Yeah. Yep. See, I don't. Fuck, I didn't even know that was going on. I just saw the highlights too. What's our next biggest <laughs> fight? Damn it. What's uh, our next uh, biggest? Uh, yeah. UFC turkey, two sixty nine. Poirier versus Why Oliveira. Versus Oliveira. Okay, so we got to do a fight now, Vinay. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say that's a fight night for sure. Um, 
Did we want to do, I know we said before we were going to wait on predictions. Do we want to do it next time? We want to do it this time? We we'll really we'll wait till next time because yeah. I'm, dude, I'll probably be I changing my, whole card I'll too. be changing my mind all the way up until the day of the fight. When's the fight again? December 6th. I think maybe that's very dude. Very, I got I got um Bill Burr coming. No, up maybe December eleventh. I can't remember. Oh, that'll be fun, Mike. Oh, I'm Hell so yeah. pumped, dude. You know how crazy it's been. I, I I got to go see Ron White. I've got to see Joe Rogan. I've got to see Tony Hinchcliffe. I've I should have. I was gonna go see Joey Diaz. It's in the game, but <laughs> COVID ruined my chance. Yeah, to we had see, tickets to that. We had fucking tickets to that, dude. If I would have saw Joey Diaz, my list of fucking comedians Bro, that I've seen would have been amazing. Would have been legendary. I have I have Joe crossed off somehow. That was insane. And then uh, Ron White, out of all people, I mean, he, you'd never see him tour around here anymore. Right. So that was really crazy. I got to go to see him, and now I'm going to see Bill Burr. And I truly believe Bill Burr's a dad of like a two or three year old right now, and he's really wanting to just settle down and not do touring anymore right, so right, i think right. this is like my last chance to see him i'm so pumped that dude is like my idol when it comes to comedian uh, com- comedy legend status yeah he's like my favorite uh, you mentioned uh joey diaz i came across one of his stand oh yeah, suckers. <laughs> yeah it was one of his stand-ups and he was oh no 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 maybe it was uh him talking to joe rogan i was getting it confused i did listen to one of his stand-ups anyways he was talking about how deep he was, like, how, deep. how down the rabbit hole he was going with the yeah. coke and shit. And yeah. he was, like, living on the streets and all that. And he said uh, he uh, he had a <laughs> – uh, oh, his nose was all fucked up oh. uh, from doing coke or whatever. And he was asking the dude, he's like, man, just front me this. Don't worry. That day, I'll you know, uh, I'll go out and sell some uh, and get you your money back and all that shit. One of the best hustlers ever. Obviously he, he no bro. He went he ahead and just fucking snort that, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no hustling. He was involved. going to snort that he shit. Was, he said uh, his nose was fucked up and he had like a ball of coke and he was stopping the bleeding from his nose with the ball of coke. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> he said he he said he, he passed god. out and woke up in one of those little rocket ships like where what kids you put the little twenty five fifty cents in. And like you know how like they rock or whatever. Well, he he woke up. He was passed out after like doing so much coke, and then (laughs) I guess like crashing after once he didn't have any more. Damn, that's that's fucking crazy. I I love the stories. Uh, I was telling you, telling you how stories, huh? That guy was getting Vietnam weed shit to him when he was a kid. Yeah, Joey Diaz was getting fucking straight up heroin sent to him in the mail. That's like, crazy. <laughs> just crazy shit. Fucking insane. So what'd you find? What'd you find? I don't know. I saw it on the fucking wall. <laughs> Tell us about it. Shout out, shout out my buddy Joel. For, he's uh, originally from Alaska. Does and it he, come out or it's just... It's a, yeah, it's actually on, me, the sharpest Let me move thing. here. Does it move? Now show him. It, now show the camera. Should I pull it. it out? Yeah, you can. Fuck, I'm scared as fuck. Put it. Uh, One side has like hell? a design on it. It's, it's yeah. from Alaska. Here, show and that's for cutting meat or just like... I don't know. Just, Bro, you could get veggies and just kind of go like... Bro, grind down some bud with that bad boy. Ching, 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 ching. Dude, that thing will get <laughs> stickied up after a while. And then you'll have yeah, to, you don't want it. It's a, it's a collector's Damn, piece. I want to do it. <laughs> Damn, this thing's badass. I want to fuck someone up with it. Dude, I'm right there. That is the a, ear. Take their ear off. You're violent. Sorry. <laughs> that is a crazy. You're wearing a white hood. I don't know about you, man. Hold on, wait, wait, Jerry. Let me take it off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he said, "We in the hood. We in the hood. <laughs> the hood. <laughs> he put it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won't do what he did next. <laughs> oh, the flask. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've been drinking on that flask. I've been drinking a uh, wild turkey. Okay. Okay. Oh. Turkey season. Right. I got a, I got all the turkey. I got a shelf then, in my room of all the, like a all a, a bunch of different whiskey brands. Uh huh. And every, every every bottle I finished, I I don't have on that shelf. I put up there, and I hadn't had uh, wild turkey on there, so I'm trying to finish the bottle. You gotta put water in it, and then get like a nice little like light that you can put it on there. You know what I mean? Put like a brown light, and it looks like put it's water full. in the bottle, and it'll make it look cooler. Yeah, put water in the bottle and then get like a light that you. See, can I have put it on, on a wood 
uh, wood platform, so I have to make it like see through somehow. If I had to do that. Well, if it's on a wood platform, then like it's on a shelf, you know, wood it's on shelf. A shelf. Yeah, you get some kind of. Like, All you need like, is one of those like LED lights, the strip yeah. lights. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm well, gonna say right, right, under, right behind you. Majority, yeah. majority of the bottles, besides my growlers, uh-huh. um, are all like see through. You can like I can put lights in them or whatever I wanted to do, but the growlers, it'd be a little bit harder. Those are darker. I'll put water in it so it looks. That's like my full. that's my favorite thing to do is get growlers. But I haven't been to water I haven't it. been to a lot of uh, breweries. I need to go to more. Bro, we gotta go more. Hey, Wait. winter's a good time to go to breweries. I just well, I uh, I tried. I get, I have my my Dewey, and what? ever since what? then my my Dewey. What? My Dewey. Oh, I was oh. just like, oh, and I, so ever confused. since then I'm like I I don't drink out like a lot anymore. I don't okay, go to places okay. and drink. Well, so then, well then you can have one beer. Eat some I good food. I can just go there and buy a growler and get food. You but can do that too. I'm going to try their beer. beer. Are you kidding me? My <laughs> name's Michael yeah, fucking you have Jeffrey. One beer, one beer. That's it. And some good food. Because uh, there's a lot, bro. There's, there's, there's a, a lot. Fucking bro. Bro. Me, you, duh, Dylan. Dylan. Yeah. Because we, you know, he sends the, me shit all the time with some. And I want to go to 450 North. Um, I think it's on 450 North, but I don't know where it really is at. I have no idea. It's in Indiana, but it's either at the top or the south, like real far Ooh, down or that's far a drive. up. But it's got some of the coolest fucking uh, Bruce. Bruce, yeah. Yeah. Mine's exactly. the cans. I, I would go all into it, but we'll, we can talk about that another day. We'll go on a brewery run. Yeah, and, dude. I'm telling you, we get some. I'll, I'll get breweries. some of the cans in here, and, and then I'll show, show you. which ones we yeah, like the most. Fucking, have a nice little there's detailed some list. Dope ones. Mm, I want Is there anything pie. you wanted to bring up specifically today, Jay? Uh, I got most of it out. Uh, Vince, I just wanted to uh, tell you I got uh, the Black Friday deal. I got that um, Far Cry, the new Far Cry. Yeah. Right on. Been there you it. go. You I haven't, haven't played it yet. You haven't played it? Yeah, I like it so far. I'm probably like maybe 25% done with it, but it's really good. I've been playing that Forza Horizon 5. Yeah, dude. For I'm still wondering, playing it. Is that is that Resident Evil game pretty dope? I was wondering if I the, should get that. Resident which, Evil which eight? one? Oh, yeah, eight. the newest one, The Village. Michael played that one. The Village. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought is it was looked like? scary. Oh my god, yeah. I st- I'm okay. still go back to it Spooked. every uh, so often. And try to complete some of like the side things, side quests. Yeah, it's okay. fucking. It's a good story though, because that's what I like. I oh like, yeah, like the story, story has had it had me um, spooked. Did it? Okay. For the wax here, bro, I got some wax from the fucking dispensary. Got some swax, some good ass wax. Dispo. Oh yeah, some, dispo, some really dispo, good. Dispo, dispo, dispo. Got really the good sugar, sugar in yeah. the bowl. Got the sugar dispo, in the bowl. Dispo. Mm. Sugar in the bowl. Mm-hmm. Dispo, On the go. Dispo. On the go. This is a cool little container too. All right. But we got, we got, I think our next one is going to be a fight night. So we got a really fun one next. And, uh, see if we can. Uh, I think it's the next one after. Yeah, um, after. We got next week and then the week after. Oh, Vinny? Who is it? Vinny! Vinny! I said it in my head. I was going to say yeah. it out loud. You knew it? I, I was thinking it, but I didn't say it. So it doesn't count. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> I'll give you yeah. half a point. I'll take it. Good. <laughs> I'll go make me up a drink. All right, brother. All right, man. Episode right forty-three. On. Good talking to you guys. Episode forty-three. Forty-three, baby. Forty-three. Yeah. Forty-three. Oh, uh, man, we gotta have to do something special for the forty-seven. Bro, I'm telling you, we gotta do something crazy for the forty-seven. And Fifty. <laughs> when we get to the big fifty. Yes. Man. I think. Um, I think we got something. Pl- I got something special. We can. We can get it going. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Disco, dispo. <laughs> you dance in the dispensary. <laughs> Scooting in with some slippers on and shit. Getting my weed. Like Snoop Dogg on that commercial. Passing out the Coronas on the, yeah. <laughs> on the beach. He, he said, I don't uh, even drink that shit. I don't even drink Corona. I do now. Thank you, Snoop. Hey, I, I'll drink it, yeah. Peace out. See you, Jay. Uh, brothers, I'll catch you later. Later, homie. Peace. Peace, love, happiness, all around. Spread it. (laughs) (laughs) Spread it. Shit.